back to my channel. I'm here with another video for you about babies. <laughs> this is my baby shower haul. Before I get started, let me preface. This is a, I had a baby shower with some of my coworkers and then I had, which was like, we have like five girls in the office and then there was a baby shower with my friends and family. And to everyone, if they even watch this, I don't think they do. <laughs> But I am like beyond grateful for everything. There's so much stuff here. I'm like trying to line it up for you guys for this video to show you guys and I can't show it all. There's like it would take forever for me to like go through and show you every single thing that I got. So I did at the beginning of the video or maybe I'll throw it in here. I don't know. You've either already seen it or I'm showing it to you now, who knows. Um, I took like a little quick swoop through of everything. So if you see something and I don't talk about it and you would have a question about it, just drop it in the comments below and I will let you know what it is. Um, most of the stuff, except for um, a lot of the clothes obviously, um, were on my registry. So it's all stuff that I picked out that I wanted for this baby. So um, definitely um, let me know if you have questions or comments about anything, if I miss anything. I'm not gonna go through everything, I'm just gonna pick and choose some of them kind of from each category. I tried to separate it by category. Um, so first, I am almost 36 weeks. I'll be 36 weeks in two days. And so it's kind of late for a baby shower, at least for me and I have been, I have such the urge to nest, like it's insane. Um, I've been, <laughs> Ryan's had like a to-do list every weekend. I've been doing anything and everything around the house um, that I could. So I am so excited to nest and I made myself, except for a few things, not buy anything. Simply because I know everyone loves to buy clothes and I didn't want to go out and buy a ton of clothes when we don't really need those sizes. So I've been waiting until now to be able to go out and buy things that we might need. Um, and then also I wanted to save my money. So I wanted to wait and see what everyone bought us before I went out and purchased things. So first I wanted to show you the items that I did end up splurging on. Um, so first things first. This is the first thing I bought the baby, not the crib, this snuggle bug. It's by, um, it's Baby by Kira, and you probably know them. It's OK Baby on YouTube. It's a family channel, and her brand is Baby by Kira, and um, we kind of went with like a space theme for his nursery, and not like overbearing, as you'll notice. Like everything is white and gray for the most part, but there's small, subtle touches of space. So I got this little snuggle bug and it's just like a cute little um, comfort blanket for them. Um, so that was my first purchase for baby. And then clothing wise, I did good, okay guys? But I did get a couple items, I couldn't resist. So first I found a shop on Instagram, it's a little one shop or yeah, a little one shop. And they have these adorable ribbed outfits. Well, not, it's sold separate, I'm sorry. So it's a ribbed onesie, and this is the seafoam green, and I bought the matching pants for it. And then I also got a blue one, and a charcoal one, and of course, because I love my black, I got a black one, and they had the matching pants for the black as well. So for the most part, these are the only clothes I got except for one other thing. These are the only clothes that I bought myself and I bought a variety of sizes because I just kind of went with what they had in stock. So I have six months, six months, three months, and six months. I also factored in um, our seasons. So I live in Seattle, Washington area. So I kind of did the math of Obviously babies don't necessarily wear six months at six months, but I kind of did the math of where our seasons might be um, since these are long sleeve and pants. So I did that before I purchased these. Okay, so the other two items that I purchased, um, we recently took a family trip to Leavenworth and you know they have a bunch of 
little shops and stuff and I saw these really cute clothes and swaddles in there so first thing I got was this swaddle um, what fabric is this it's one of those soft fabrics I don't even know um, what fabric I didn't buy this one but um, rayon from bamboo and cotton it's kind of like the similar fabric but anyways, it's this adorable space theme and I saw it and I was like, let me take this ribbon off because I'm not returning it. Let's be real. Adorable theme. Like it fits honestly perfect. I might bring this as a swaddle for like pictures in the hospital. But look how cute that is. Literally perfection. So I couldn't resist it. We bought it. Um, this was, I don't, I'm not going to go through and tell you prices because I don't know the prices of everything. Obviously these were gifts, but I spent, um, so the, the onesies from little one shop, each piece was 10 bucks, um, which is not bad if you factor in the fact that they're an Instagram store, they're like a boutique. So it's usually boutique pricing. There's a lot of adorable clothes on Instagram and Facebook that you'll see for babies and the prices in my opinion are outrageous like this piece I'm about to show you I spent way too much money on it I knew this when I bought it but I still wanted it and 99% of the time I will not spend that much money on baby clothes simply because they just don't wear them very long I'm very much a pro like Target um, H&M I love H&M because their prices are usually reasonable like secondhand shop even like where we uh, yeah or yeah consignment I like to go to the consignment stores more preferably but anyways this was like $16.95 I believe and then this next piece was way too expensive you would die yep I die looking at it it's $34 okay way too much money please don't spend that much money on one piece of clothing for your babies it is not worth it but I did it anyways because I couldn't resist so it's this little sleeper and um it's expensive one for the fabric two because it's a boutique um, and it has like sushi all over it now some people are probably cringing because it has sushi on it but let me explain okay <laughs> promise i'm not crazy i mean i kind of am but you know <clears throat> we um me and ryan have nicknames for each other and we won't go into like the backstory of it but basically i'm sushi and he's potato so if I would have found a onesie with potatoes on it, I would have bought it, okay? And this had sushi, so I was like, we're buying it. It's happening. I'm sure I could have searched Amazon or Etsy and found something much cheaper, but I don't care, okay? I wanted it, so I bought it. And considering I haven't bought like anything else, I think I've done pretty good. So that is all I've purchased for baby. Um, everything else has come from friends and family and we are incredibly <laughs> grateful. So the next things that I wanted to go over were things that I can't actually really show you. So this beautiful crib behind me, um, my mother-in-law bought for us. It is the Hudson crib by Baby Leto. So if you just look that up, you will see it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, my mom bought us the mattress and these really cute sheets. These sheets are from Carousel Designs and this is my personal opinion. Um, I love the print, which is why we went with it because it was like perfect. It wasn't overwhelmingly space theme, um, but it had our gray and white to it. But these, this one sheet was $39 and it's not very soft. <laughs> and so I would have preferred, you know, a, a softer fabric or co cozier fabric um especially at that price point you would think the quality of product would be better so i don't know if all of carousel designs that was my first purchase from them i probably won't be purchasing again simply for that fact you can get like aiden and anise uh sheets that are much softer and they're on amazon so much better but I mean I love our one sheet I'm not returning it I'm keeping it obviously it's on the baby's bed ready to go it's been washed um, so my mom bought us this she bought us these sheets and she also bought us um, our dresser which is here I can't really show it to you but 
Um, you'll see it if you watch like our nursery setup video and stuff. Um, if you have questions on what mattress we ended up choosing, let me know. I can reply to your comment and let you know which one it is. Um, and then the other thing that we also got, I have hiccups, I'm sorry. It's raining. Um, we got a high chair. I didn't want to bring that upstairs. Um, it's like a booster seat. It goes on like your dining room table chair kind of high chair. I'll try and insert a picture somewhere here if I can find it for my registry. And then the other thing that I can't show you because it's already in my car is the car seat. Um, we got a car seat. It's a infant car seat. So I'll also insert a picture of that somewhere. It is a Graco slim fit something rather or snug ride or snug lock. I don't know. One of those. I'll insert a picture somewhere for you guys. And then the other thing I got, it's over here, you can't see it, but it's a stroller for the car seat. It's like the base, it's like the metal part of it. I'll insert another picture because that's all I'm good at. Um, and you just click the car seat on there and it becomes a stroller and away you go. Um, so those are kind of the big items that we got that you can't really see at the moment. Um, so I just wanted to like show you guys pictures of those quickly and now we'll get into like all this stuff. Okay. So can we talk about clothes? You're going to get so many clothes because everybody just likes to buy clothes. I mean, it's the fun thing to shop for. Um, so even though I put some items on my registry that I requested, just, I knew that I probably wasn't going to get them and, um, that other people would buy what they wanted. I mean, it's fun to shop for babies. So I just picked a couple of them because I'm not going to sit here and show you every piece of clothing we got. There's way too much. But I just wanted to show you a couple of my favorites that I quickly grabbed from the piles. I don't even, I think, I don't even know what sizes they are. So I'm just going to show them to you. I don't know what sizes they are. Um, this adorable, like, Mickey Mouse overall set. Um, this Mickey jumper. Another, this like a two pack of Mickey onesie jumpers. Obviously, I have a thing for Disney. Um, Seahawks pajama because hello, go Seahawks. Um, our family is big football family, so on football Sundays, you better be wearing your Seahawks gear. This is something that was on my registry, it is a Burt's Bee um, pajama. And I'm loving the Burt's Bees brand. Um, they're decently priced because anything that's like organic cotton or a higher quality fabric tends to be really outrageous. But the Burt's Bees sells on Amazon and they are usually prime shipping and they're reasonably priced usually. Can't remember, I think my mom got me that one, but it was on my registry, so she did give me that. This is an outfit I absolutely love. My best friend gave it to me. And it says, I love you to the moon and back. And it's a four pack. So there's a bunch of different like sleep gowns. First of all, sleep gowns are amazing. If you don't have them, I had them with my first son 10 years ago. And even now they're still perfect, even for boys, because easy access to get to the diaper. But there's some really cute designs. And um, obviously it kind of goes with the space theme, but I've always... Um, growing up, I told my grandma, I love you to the moon and back. So it has a special place in my heart. I continued that with my um, son, Vari. I love you to the moon and back. Always and forever, no matter what, never forget it. And um, that's what I say to him every night. He's 10 years old. And um, so this, I absolutely love. It's very sentimental to me. And then another really cute outfit. This is just an Amazon outfit. I don't even know the brand of it, but Amazon has adorable outfits, by the way. It's, and they're reasonably priced considering like you're gonna, like the baby's gonna wear it for a couple months at the most. You know, they grow so fast. Um, so it's just this really cute, me and my black, obviously, jumper, but it has a hood with stripes in it. So I'm in love with it. And, oh, she also got me these shoes, which I put by the diaper bag. Um, 
She got me a little Converse. I know babies don't wear shoes, okay, but they're cute and I'm still gonna put him in them. <laughs> so his first pair of shoes and when he's done wearing these, Ryan can hang them up in his car. We'll put little, um, I'll put a little string around it for him so he can hang it in his car and I'm still getting fabric on me. And then something else clothing related that I thought was really cute. My mother-in-law bought me this little shark hat set. It's, it's meant for like pictures or whatever, but it has a little shark stuffy, like newborn pictures. And it has a little knitted shark hat. So I thought that was really cute. And we'll throw him in it for some pictures when he's newborn. We have so many blankets and swaddles. Um, I opted, like I requested a bunch of like muslin swaddles and stuff. Um, you saw the one that I bought. There's this one that's like an animal print. I've got some with like arrows and stuff on them. We also got these, um, it's like a wearable blanket. It's like a sleep sack, but um, their arms come out. So on this one, I think their arms come out. Some of them, their arms come out. Some of them, they don't. I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, so these, I got a couple of Burt's Bees sleep sacks as well. Tons of swaddles. The other thing that I got that I wanted to show was this photo blanket. And it is space themed, so obviously it's going with our theme. Um, so I absolutely love that and I'm excited to use it. So for our baby shower, we kind of, um, well, at least with my son, it's been a thing for a long time to always do like a diaper raffle and where people bring diapers or wipes or both. And then they get entered into a raffle and they win a gift. Um, but um, we've also gone with the new trend where you ask people to bring you a book instead of a card and then they can write a sweet message inside of the book. That way you're not one, wasting the planet's paper or resources and then two, you have like a memento. I do keep the cards but a lot of people don't keep cards. They end up going in the garbage and having a book, you get to read it to them every night and you don't have to read the message every night but if someone writes a sweet message in there you can read them the message that they wrote so i really like the trend and that's what we did we asked people to bring a book instead of a card so i wanted to show you a couple of my favorite books not all of them he has like a whole bookshelf of books already and i just wanted to show you a couple of them so first ones first is the five minute star wars stories we love these. We have a couple books that are the five minute stories. We have a princess one, we have a Paw Patrol, and we also have a Frozen one, thanks to my sister. Um, so we love these and we love Star Wars. We have the Jimmy Fallon book, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Dada by Jimmy Fallon. We got, um, this one is hilarious. If you are, don't like curse words and stuff you probably don't think it's hilarious it's meant more for the parents but it's go the bleep to sleep basically and it does not bleep the words inside the story um so that is a hilarious book and I love it um it's like a comedy all in itself and another one that was really sweet was I wish you more and then this one is actually Ryan bought this for me for Christmas. For Christmas, I told him he's not allowed to buy me anything. And if he dares buy me anything, it better be for the baby. So he bought me a book to read to baby. And so it's baby's first book and it's My Mom is Magical. Um, so it's a cute little book for him and I'm excited to read this to him. So we got a couple gift cards. Oftentimes people will give gift cards or things like that, but something that I thought is really sweet even though she knows that I am a clingy parent and I won't be leaving the baby anytime soon <laughs> um, my one of my best friends got me this it's this coupon is good for she crossed out one and put 1,000 nights of babysitting best if used by 2038 when he'd be 18 years old <laughs> um, so that is just a really sweet idea if you guys wanted to put that in one of your gifts to a friend or a family member um, just to know that they have someone they can count on if they wanted to have a date night. So I will say that I'm going to do my best to not be as clingy of a parent as I was with my first son, simply for the fact that I think Ryan and I do deserve some date nights just to go out to dinner, even if it's just for like an hour. Um, so I will be requesting help 
not right away. Eventually, not right away. It's gonna take me a little while to like let go of the reins. I am a very attached parent. So this is the diaper bag I picked out and it is a very pricey diaper bag, not gonna lie. Um, but I did a lot of research and I wanted a backpack. We have a backpack that we use for my bonus son, who's three. Um, and I love that one. In fact, it is the same one that my sister uses. Um, she used it in Disney World and I absolutely loved it. But I wanted to try this one out. I may not love it as much. So the one my sister has, like, or we have it too, I guess. Um, on the side pocket, it's like meant for wipes. So you just like literally open it and then pull a wipe out. It's so easy peasy. Like you don't even have to like unzip or do anything. There's just, it's just there. It's meant for wipes. Um, but this one has like compartments and stuff. It's black. And um, this is Skip Hop. It's a four piece set. Pack and go diaper backpack. Um, it attaches to like strollers and stuff, um, but love it. So back wise, I requested on my registry, um, a couple bamboo hooded towels, um, and some bamboo washcloths and we got a little rubber ducky. That was cute. Um, and then as far as, um, baby products go for shant like bath time, I am right now I'm sticking to Hello Bello, which we got, the Honest brand, and Piracy. Um, I haven't bought Piracy yet, but those are the ones that we will be using for baby. Um, I download this app called Think Dirty, and not that we are obviously super clean and healthy, but in certain areas we try to be especially when it comes to baby's skin. So we are trying to go with products that are a little bit safer for baby. And the tub that we got, this was on my registry, is just this simple like bath support. Um, honestly, I don't really think that you need one of those fancy tubs. I don't think it's really worth your money. This is like 20 bucks on Amazon, I think. And obviously gray and white, perfect for my theme. Um, not that that matters. <laughs> Um, but you don't really need one of those fancy tubs. If you want one, go for it. Um, but like you could bathe a baby in your kitchen sink, in the bathroom sink. You can lay a towel down on your normal bathtub and give your baby a bath. Like you don't need one of the fancy ones. This is nice because it's gonna, it'll prop them up and it'll keep them seated in that position for you. Um, until they can like sit on their own or a little bit bigger, but that's the only tub that we'll probably use and then we'll just transition him into the tub. If I feel like it's too slippery or whatever, we'll lay down a towel. I don't care about getting a sopping wet towel. It's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I don't really like the like slip mats and stuff because they get really mildewy really quick. But my advice, and this is my second baby after 10 years, is just, don't spend a ton of money on one of those crazy expensive bathtubs. I just don't think it's worth it. I purchased a breast pump. Well, I didn't purchase. I got a breast pump through my insurance. So if you have insurance, definitely reach out. There's a lot of companies that are doing them. I think I used Aeroflow company to get my free breast pump, or you can even just contact your insurance directly to see how you can go about getting a free breast pump if you plan on breastfeeding and pumping. Um, so some things that we got were some accessories for nursing, like lanolin cream and um, nipple butter and um, breast milk storage bags, things like that. We also got um, this swaddle that I had. It's the Baby Catan. I had this on my registry as well. We got some Zarbies, um, like starter kits. It has coffin syrup and mucus, and these are all natural ones, the Zarbies brand. Um, there's a chest rub, there's gripe water, there's a multivitamin with iron. Obviously, whether you're pro vitamins or not, whatever, I am. Won't probably be doing it right away, but if baby needs extra iron or whatever, I will go for the Zarbies brand. Um, we've got stuff for bottles when we do eventually start bottle feeding. Um, when I go back to work, he will be on a bottle Formula, uh, not formula, it'll be my breast milk, but he'll obviously have to take a bottle. So 
We got some stuff for that. We have some passies. Um, I already showed you the swaddles. There's hangers. Oh, what is this? Um, this is the Hatch sound machine and uh, nightlight. So we got that. <clears throat> um, this is not, I mean, I guess you could probably use it for breastfeeding, but um, it's, it's like a boppy lounger for the baby. Um, so we got that. There's, we did not get the breastfeeding pillow that I want. Um, it's not a boppy, it's a different one, but I'm gonna purchase it myself. Um, it's like, it's a new design. It, there's not very many of them, but it like has different levels so you can flip to the level that you want to adjust based on the position you're feeding the baby. Don't know how to describe it, but it's really cool. Um, so I plan on getting that for myself as well. So cute, this is the play mat that we got. Um, it's the black and white Jimny by Tiny Love. There's some really cute animals on here. Love this one. And then one other thing I want to show you guys is this humidifier. It's on my registry. Not that we'll need it right away, but it's nice to have. It's a cool air humidifier, and I'm excited to have it for baby. I recently borrowed one from my friend when I was sick, and it didn't make me like, it didn't like clear me up per se, but it made it so my throat wasn't so dry and painful with the cough that I was having, it kept it like moisturized so I wouldn't cough as much at nighttime. So it was really beneficial. So when baby does get sick or if he does need some humidification, is that the word? I don't know. Um, I'm excited to have this on hand. So that's obviously not everything that we got, but I'm not gonna go through everything and show it to you. That is the major things, the top things that people often wanna add to their registry that I think are really important. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen or that I've shown or if I didn't show anything, let me know. I'll let you know what I've picked out for ourselves um, or if what we got. Um, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now it is my turn. Well, it's late. What time is it? It's 8.30 Sunday night and I have work tomorrow morning. So I need to go get ready for bed so that I'm not exhausted tomorrow. I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow as well, so I'll be making a pregnancy update here soon for you, and if it's not up already, I never know what order I post these videos in, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.